The United States and its allies defeat German and Italian forces in North Africa and are now trying to gain a foothold in Europe. Before they can invade by land, the Allies take to the skies with a daring air campaign. West Point graduate Benjamin Cassidy Jr., a pilot in the U.S. Army Air Force's 79th Fighter Group, takes off from a base on the French island of Corsica. It is the 21-year-old pilot's first combat mission of World War II. Well, I remember it very well because what we did was we broke through the overcast and it was a sheet of uh, clouds, and there were the Germans, German ME-109s. So they came down on us. At this point in the war, the German Air Force, known as the Luftwaffe, still dominates the skies over Europe. They fly innovative aircraft, like the one Cassidy is confronting, the Messerschmitt BF-109, also known as the ME-109, with its sleek aerodynamic design, powerful 12-cylinder engine, and deadly 20-millimeter cannon. The ME-109 was the Germans' best fighter at that time of the war. Cassidy is well equipped for his first dogfight with these ME-109s. His plane, the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, is new and innovative. It's designed specifically to take on Germany's best aircraft. If you looked at a P-47 on the runway, it was a monster and a powerful, capable monster. Weighing in at 9,000 pounds empty, it had a 40-foot wingspan and stood many feet higher than other fighters. The American P-47 is a powerhouse. It has four machine guns in each wing and carries up to 3,000 pounds of weaponry and bombs, making it one of the heaviest fighter planes in the war. Its rugged aluminum and steel frame conceals one of its greatest technological advantages, the R-2800 Double Wasp, an 18-cylinder engine that produces a stunning 2,800 horsepower, almost double the horsepower of the German ME-109, and more than enough force to keep the hulking P-47 in flight. This 18-cylinder engine was one of the most powerful engines the world had ever seen. Built by Pratt & Whitney, the R-2800 is a product of rigorous engineering and mechanics and the first 18-cylinder engine made in the U.S. It has a double row of nine power-producing cylinders arranged in a circle. As in all internal combustion engines, a mixture of fuel and air is compressed inside the cylinders and ignited by spark plugs. This ignition creates an explosion inside the cylinders, which rapidly turns the P-47's propeller 2,700 revolutions per minute. At full throttle, the big engine's horsepower gives the heavy P-47 speed and versatility unmatched by most other fighters. This was an enormous technology improvement, and it made the Double Wasp unique in the power that it could produce. Cassidy uses every bit of that power as he battles with the Germans over the skies of Europe. The R-2800's superior abilities help him fly higher and out of sight of the Germans. This advantage helps Cassidy score his first aerial victory over an ME-109. I saw the one that get on my leader's tail, so I was able to shoot him down. Cassidy and his airplane are a success. The double wasp engine is more than powerful. It's incredibly tough and able to withstand a beating, especially during ground attacks on enemy targets called strafing. Well, strafing is when you see a train particularly or a convoy of trucks that you can come down on them and just shoot them up with your wing guns. In a later mission, Cassidy's plane is hit as he attacks a German airfield, also known as an aerodrome. We were up strafing an aerodrome. Well, I got hit badly, and I was able to get out of the range of the machine gun that hit me. I got hit in the engine. Then we got to the Mediterranean Sea. It got to be pretty antsy that I'd even get back. The plane's power and durability allows Cassidy to fly out of range and limp back to base. The R-2800 double wasp engine is such a technological success, the U.S. military uses it to power other planes, including the Grumman F-6F Hellcat and the Vought F-4U Corsair, helping the Allies gain air superiority. For pilots like Cassidy, who goes on to fly 117 combat missions over Europe, the P-47's toughness gives them the security they need to complete their missions.
Many brave pilots made the ultimate sacrifice, but many more, like Cassidy, were able to make it back. I was always able to get home. I never had to bail out in combat. It was an aircraft that would get you home.